I have section uh, 4.5 integrating by substitution part 1. So I'll get the uh, mathematical definition out of the way first. So what we'll be dealing with is a uh, composition of functions. Basically a function inside of a function. Sort of think of it also as like the chain rule for uh, for antiderivatives or the chain rule for integrating. Now the the basic pattern outline of the, uh, the integral has to be set up where we're going to consider g to be the inside and the derivative of the inside has to also be in the integral. And we're looking for the antiderivative of f, which we're going to call capital F. So I'll kind of refer back to what this is as I work through the problem. But more or less, it's just matching the pattern of the inside and the derivative of the inside. Alright. So first example is I want to find the integral of um, 3x squared parentheses 1 plus x to the third, all raised to the fourth power. So what I want to figure out is uh, what the inside part is, inside function. Well, the inside is kind of 1 plus x to the third. It's obvious. It's what's inside the parentheses. So I'm going to do something called a, a u substitution, where I let u equal the inside part. So 1 plus x to the third. All right. Next, I want to go ahead and find the derivative with respect to x. This is derivative with respect to x, because this has to have the derivative has to have the derivative of the inside and the integral. So the derivative here is going to be du dx, this derivative is a 3x squared, and I can go ahead and cross multiply this dx over, so du is a 3x squared dx. So notice that I needed to find the inside part, and the derivative of the inside had to be the other part of the problem, the other part of the, uh, the integral. So I have that right over here this is the inside this is going to be u and this uh, 3x squared dx is what I have over here and I'm going to rearrange this rewrite this as the integral of u to the fourth power du now you might be thinking what the heck is going on over here but what I'm trying to identify is what antiderivative rule am I going to apply so all this inside part was just what I labeled as, as far as the, the highlighted part, because the outermost function, the thing I'm going to apply the rule of the outermost is something to the fourth power. So the power rule says you add the power by one, so you do the fifth over five plus uh, c. And the last thing I want to do is put everything back in terms of what the uh, variable was so everything back in terms of x. So u is going to be parentheses 1 plus x to the third all to the fifth power all over 5 plus uh, c and this is my antiderivative of that. So the whole process really is just identifying what the inside part is and making sure that you have the derivative of the inside in the other part of the problem. Alright, so let me uh, go through another example and kind of maybe better further explain what the whole inside outside is. Alright, so let's say I have this example now and I'm going to incorrectly pick the inside part. I'm going to let, suppose that I let u equal uh, x. Well the derivative of that, because that's what I have to find, is the derivative of what I selected the du dx is equal to, to 1 and I cross multiply du is equal to uh, to dx well that accounts for this but I haven't accounted for the parentheses that's being a squared so this is an incorrect selection so I picked incorrectly now let's say I select u to equal 
what's inside the parentheses 1 minus uh, x squared so now the derivative of that du dx is going to be the derivative of this which is negative 2x dx so now you see I can change everything in terms of u because I'm going to let the inside part equal u this x dx is what I have here and here what I don't have excuse me uh, what I don't have is this extra negative 2. So I'm going to divide that over. I'm allowed to divide and multiply by constants. So I'm just going to divide this uh, negative 2 over. So basically it's negative uh, 2 divided over here. So what I have is negative 1 over uh, 2 du is x dx. I'm going to be able to replace this x dx, which is what I have over here, with negative one half du. I'm going to be able to replace the inside of the parentheses with uh, u. So this integral turns out to be the integral of u to the second power. The x dx gets replaced with negative one half du. And there's a uh, integral property that says if I have a, a constant, I can uh, multiply or factor out this constant in front. So I'm going to pull this negative one half out in front of the integral. So now I have this, and I can go ahead and uh, integrate using the power rule on u to the second power. So it's going to be negative one half times u to the third power over uh, three plus uh, c. Multiplying these uh, together it's going to be negative 1 over uh, 6 u to the uh, third power plus uh, c. Last thing is put everything back in terms of x so it's going to be negative 1 over uh, 6 and then all times 1 minus x squared to the third power plus uh, c. And this is the antiderivative of this. The only difference in this problem with this example was uh, when I did my uh, du, the derivative, I had this extra negative uh, 2 there. I'm allowed to multiply or divide over by constants. So all I did extra was uh, to get rid of this extra negative uh, 2. I just divided it over so I can replace the x dx with this negative one half du. And then what I also what I did is based on the constant property, I just factored it out for so this negative one half. Factors out over here. Alright, one last example. It's finding the antiderivative of uh, of this. So if I'm going to find the antiderivative, it's going to be integrating. Um, this is all going to be three x minus one, all being raised to the one half power the variable I'm using is uh, with respect to x dx. It's kind of limited on what your choices are because the only inside part is 3x minus 1. So I'm going to let u equal that. The derivative now, du dx, is going to just be uh, 3. I cross multiply the dx, so du is equal to uh, 3 uh, dx. Now, inside, the parentheses is what u is equal to. This dx is what I have over here. I don't have this extra constant of uh, 3. So I'm going to be able to uh, divide this over. So it's going to be a 1 third du is equal to a dx. So I'll be able to replace this dx with 1 third du. This is all going to be u to the 1 half in place of dx, one third du. One third is a constant. I'm able to uh, factor it out in front. And the integral of u to the one half du. I go ahead and apply the power rule on u to the one half. So my answer is going to be this one third times 
if I add the power by one, it's going to be uh, three over two. All over uh, three over uh, two plus c. This is now going to be one third. I go ahead and reciprocate this three over two. I go ahead and, uh, and flip it. So it's two over three u to the three over two plus uh, c. Simplifying this further, I'm going to have a uh, two, and I multiply it's going to be two over nine. Now everything back in terms of uh, what the variable was, so u gets replaced back with uh, 3x minus 1 to the 3 over uh, 2 plus uh, c. And last thing, since my problem started with radicals, I'm going to say that g of x, the antiderivative, goes back in terms of radicals, so 2 over 9. This is going to be the square root of 3x minus 1 to the third power plus uh, c. And uh, that's my antiderivative. Again, only thing different is the fact that I have this additional uh, 3, which I'm able to divide out or divide over. This turns into 1 third. So this 1 third gets factored out. And then I just apply the power rule on this part. And I just simplify from, from here on down. And uh, that's it.